Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I want to show you how I quilted the orange peel design and the outer border of this quilt all in one pass. When I did the outer border design on this four patch quilt, what I had done was sectioned the border out in four inch segments and so I just went from one side and I drew a line with a water soluble pen. So I had all of these areas sectioned out and um, I started out doing a completely different design and I quilted it in the first section and decided it wasn't quite what I wanted so I ripped it out and started over and when you're doing a typical orange peel um, at least what I do is I use a template and I start on one end and then I will just quilt around that template and go from segment to segment which you also you know you're also going to have to find your center line to do that so I'll go around like this and then I'll quilt back Again, using my template, only it's sitting like that now. And then I'll come and I'll do the bottom section. So it takes four passes to do an orange peel if you do it this method. So I've got all, now I've got to come back this way. I've got that section done. I'm going to come back. And then that is your typical orange peel design. Now what I was doing was, I was doing a completely different design. I wasn't thinking orange peel at the time. And um, what I had basically is, um, let's see, I had it sectioned a little bit different. I had it sectioned like this which is still four inches apart, but you notice before when I was doing the orange peel, I had these sections uh, marked off. So I had it marked like this. What I was doing was I was doing a design like this, going up to the corner, coming straight across, and then diagonal again. But I decided that wasn't filling the space. It really wasn't giving me what I wanted, so I ripped that out and decided it needed some curves in it because there's you know a lot of straight lines within those blocks and um, I thought putting more curves in would be more pleasing to the eye so I decided to go ahead and do petals in here instead and I wanted to make it continuous so I started here and made half a petal and then went to the next one and did another half but I also realized I needed after I got this part done I realized I needed a little bit more so what I decided to do was just to add some straight lines in here so I went ahead and started with the half petal did a line across and back then do a full petal a line and back full petal line and back full petal, line and back, half petal, and then stitched in the ditch to the next section, did the same thing, a half petal, a line, and the goal was to hit this line in the same plane, so it was all one, looked like one line. And then come back, do another petal, another line, another petal, another line, another petal, and then stitch over in the ditch to get to the next area. So this is how I did this design. Now what it gave me when I finished the first row is I noticed that it kind of looked like a cathedral window here in this area. When I looked at it like this, that gave me a cathedral window look. Now if it, that line had gone all the way through like that, that would have been more of a cathedral window look. And you can do that. Now if you want to do this all in one pass and yet you still want all of the lines in there, 
you can do that. Um, let's go ahead and do it the same way, start the same way. When we get to this point, we need to make this line here. So you can stitch all the way up if you want, or you can stitch halfway and back. But either way, you're going to have to come back to get that part of the petal. Stitch across, and you could stitch all the way across if you want, but all the way back to get this petal up and down. And then you've got that full one stitch over in the ditch. And this one's already done. So fix, finish that petal, straight line, do this petal all the way up, all the way back, this petal, all the way across. So keep following it like this. So you can do it like halfway if you want. You know, whatever works with your rhythm. You know, you'll you'll develop a rhythm as you're doing this and you'll and you'll know which way is gonna work best for you. Okay. Now there are other ways you can do this if you're not worrying about um, doing this design all in one pass, if you don't mind going through it a back and forth a couple of times. There are things that you can do too. We can go ahead and do the, the petal method. Let's just do the petals. So we've got these spaced out in uh, four inch increments. Come across. Like this. Okay, now you're going to need the lines going through there, so come back over here, go down, and up, down, up, down, up, and just do this all the way across, and come down, and then go back up again, and then go across this way. So you can do that, you're making a couple of different passes. But if this makes more sense to you, you know, you're not having to backtrack on this one. And so that may be easier for you and you're not having to stop and remember, oh, I got to go this way and then I got to go that way and then I have to go that way. So, you know, whatever works for your brain. Um, that's, um, you know, pick your path. There's more than one, one way to get this design done. But pick the path that makes sense to you and give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this video on the orange peel quilting design and I hope you found one of these ideas that will work for you. Just uh, give it a try. Try it out on paper first or like I did on the plastic sheet over your quilt and see which method works best for you. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.